Welcome to Module 3 of our VMware Cloud on AWS Journey. In this module, we'll embark on a deep dive into the foundational architecture that powers this transformative solution. Imagine the architectural blueprint that seamlessly merges the world of VMware with the scalability of AWS. It's the core of what makes VMware Cloud on AWS exceptional. So, if you're ready to explore the architectural magic that underpins VMware Cloud on AWS, let's dive right in. Before we plunge into the architectural intricacies, let's revisit the three core components that form the foundation of VMware Cloud on AWS. The first component. On-premises environment. Your existing stronghold, where your infrastructure and operations are already established. The second component, AWS account number one. Here, VMware Cloud on AWS comes into play. A dedicated space where VMware's SDDC stack is installed, integrating your on-premises resources with the cloud scale and flexibility. The third component, AWS account number two. This is your gateway to the world of native AWS services. Here, you can run and integrate AWS services seamlessly with VMware Cloud on AWS, opening the door to innovation and growth. These three components work in harmony to create a unified, powerful, and agile environment. Let's take a closer look at the two AWS accounts within VMware Cloud on AWS and their respective roles. AWS account number one. Operated by VMware. Ownership. This account is owned, operated, and paid for by VMware. Purpose. It serves as the hosting ground for the VMware SDDC stack, seamlessly integrating your on-premises environment with AWS resources. Here, the focus is on providing the VMware infrastructure and services. AWS account number two. Operated by the customer. Ownership. This account is owned, operated, and paid for by you, the customer. Purpose. It's your playground for leveraging native AWS services. Here, you can run and integrate AWS services to complement your VMware Cloud on AWS environment. It's all about innovation, scalability, and flexibility. Now, let's dive deep into the details of AWS account number one and its four main building blocks. In the foundational layer of AWS account number one, we find the infrastructure that powers VMware Cloud on AWS. Dedicated bare metal AWS servers. At the core of this layer, we have dedicated bare metal AWS servers strategically deployed across specific AWS regions worldwide. These servers provide the robust foundation upon which VMware Cloud on AWS is built. When setting up your SDDC cluster, you have the flexibility to choose how you want to structure your availability. You can opt for all hosts within a single availability zone for simplicity, or you can take advantage of a stretched cluster, distributing hosts across two availability zones for enhanced availability and fault tolerance. Your SDDC cluster size is entirely controllable. This means you can scale it up or down to match changing workload demands. And to cater to diverse needs, there are multiple hardware options available, each with varying specifications. This allows you to tailor your cluster to meet your specific performance and capacity requirements. Check the link in the video description that will take you to this page on VMware website that shows the different hardware options, highlighting the differences in hardware specifications and prices. Let's delve deeper into the compute layer of VMware Cloud on AWS. 
At the foundation, dedicated bare metal AWS servers are deployed in specific AWS regions. These servers provide the raw computing power on which VMware Cloud on AWS is built. VMware's robust vSphere ESXi hypervisor is installed on these hosts. It's the virtualization engine that empowers your workloads. These hosts come together to form a vSphere cluster, creating a cohesive environment for running your virtual machines. A vCenter server runs in the cloud, orchestrating and managing your virtualized infrastructure. It provides a centralized control point for your VMware environment. One of the remarkable features is hybrid linked mode. This allows you to link the vCenter server in the cloud with your on-premises vCenter server. It's a bridge between your on-premises and cloud environments, streamlining management tasks. This cluster can be enabled for Elastic Distributed Resource Scheduling, DRS. This advanced feature provides auto-scaling capabilities, dynamically allocating and balancing resources as workload demands change. It's the key to maintaining optimal performance and cost efficiency. In essence, this infrastructure layer forms the bedrock of VMware Cloud on AWS, combining the power of AWS bare metal servers with VMware's industry-leading virtualization technology. Let's explore the hardware limits that govern VMware Cloud on AWS, ensuring a structured and efficient environment. Within a single account, you can deploy up to 10 software-defined data centers, SDDCs. These SDDCs act as the foundation for your VMware workloads. Each SDDC can host up to 20 vSphere clusters. These clusters provide the organizational structure for managing and scaling your workloads. Within each vSphere cluster, you have flexibility in terms of the number of physical servers. Clusters can range from 2 to 16 different physical servers. This flexibility allows you to tailor clusters to your performance and capacity needs. For proof of concept purposes only, you have the option to create a cluster of single hosts. This exception is ideal for testing and validating ideas before moving to production. However, it's essential to keep in mind that this configuration is not intended for production use. It's worth noting that within each SDDC, the first vSphere cluster typically contains management workloads such as the vCenter server and NSX manager. Subsequent vSphere clusters within the same SDDC are dedicated exclusively to customer workloads. Understanding these hardware limits ensures that you can plan and design your VMware cloud on AWS environment effectively, aligning it with your organization's specific requirements. Now, let's dive into the storage layer of VMware Cloud on AWS, where the magic of VMware vSAN unfolds. VMware vSAN is the star of the storage layer. It's a cutting-edge, software-defined storage solution seamlessly integrated with vSphere. The foundation of vSAN consists of all flash NVMe disks. These ultra-fast, non-volatile memory express drives deliver lightning-fast performance ensuring your storage needs are met with efficiency. These all-flash NVMe disks are combined into storage capacity and cache tiers. The cache tier accelerates data access, while the capacity tier stores your data efficiently and reliably. On top of these storage tiers, you have the power to create your data stores. Whether they're management data stores for essential infrastructure components or data data stores for your applications and workloads, vSAN offers the flexibility to tailor storage to your precise requirements. vSAN allows for granular control over storage policies. This means you can define specific policies that align with the requirements of your workloads. You can customize policies based on factors such as performance, availability, and replication. This fine-tuned control ensures that each workload gets precisely the storage resources it needs. You can assign these policies individually to a single virtual machine or to multiple virtual machines, 
or even on a more granular level on the virtual disk of a virtual machine. In the uppermost layer of VMware Cloud on AWS, we encounter the NSX layer, an absolute game changer in the world of networking. NSX is at the forefront of software defined networking. It transforms the traditional networking landscape, replacing hardware based solutions with agile, software driven infrastructure. Within NSX, there are compute and management software gateways. These gateways play a crucial role in routing north south traffic, ensuring efficient communication between your VMware cloud on AWS environment and the external world. NSX takes networking a step further by enabling micro-segmentation for east-west traffic within your environment. This means you can apply fine-grained security policies, isolating workloads, and enhancing security within your data center. NSX isn't limited to just routing and segmentation. It's a versatile toolkit that can handle a range of functions, including VPN termination, load balancing, and more. It's all about creating a flexible, secure, and high-performance networking environment. In summary, the NSX layer brings the power of software-defined networking to VMware Cloud on AWS. It empowers you to build a dynamic and secure network infrastructure that adapts to your specific needs, whether it's routing traffic, enhancing security, or facilitating advanced networking functions. We will see in Module 5 the details of how to connect your SDDC to your on-premises environment and how to interconnect with other native AWS services. Stretched clusters are a remarkable feature within VMware Cloud on AWS. They are designed to enhance availability and resilience by stretching your vSphere cluster across multiple availability zones within an AWS region. Within an AWS region, multiple availability zones, AZs, provide physically separate data centers. Stretched clusters span across two of these AZs. This geographical separation ensures that even if one AZ faces a disaster or outage, your workloads seamlessly continue running in the other AZ. To achieve zero RPO recovery point objective, stretched clusters use synchronous replication. When data is written to one AZ, it's simultaneously replicated to the other AZ, ensuring that no data is lost in the event of a failure. In essence, stretched clusters create a distributed and fault-tolerant architecture that guarantees data integrity and continuous operations, even in the face of unexpected disasters or outages. It's the key to achieving zero RPO within VMware Cloud on AWS. In VMware Cloud on AWS, management is a breeze, and the focus is on what matters most, your virtual machines and applications. VMware takes on the responsibility of managing, upgrading, and patching the entire software-defined data center, SDDC, stack. This means you can rest easy, knowing that your infrastructure is in expert hands. As a customer, you have two distinct management interfaces to interact with your VMware cloud on AWS environment. First, the VMC portal. This portal is your gateway for setting up your account, adding and removing hosts, managing user accounts, and configuring network settings. It provides the foundation for your cloud infrastructure. Second, vSphere Web Client. Once your vCenter servers are linked in hybrid linked mode, you can continue to use the familiar vSphere Web Client for day-to-day -day VM administration and operational tasks. It's the common interface for managing your VMs efficiently. In the upcoming module, we'll explore some essential storage considerations, ensuring that your data is handled optimally within VMware Cloud on AWS. So, let's dive deeper into the storage realm and unlock even more insights.